Welcome to Pattern Making Class. This is Annette Julie, fashion designer and production pattern maker to the garment industry. Today we're going to be working on taking our basic front bodice. This is full scale. The one that has the two darts. Watch one of my other videos so you can turn your one dart bodice into a two dart bodice. We're going to make a copy of this and we're going to turn this into parallel French darts that are curved. It's going to be lovely. So get your tools together. You need your hip curve, your ruler, 2x18, clear plastic ruler, pencil, pen, scissors, tape, pattern weights. And then your two dart bodice and some pattern paper. So the first, first thing we want to do here is place down the grain line. I'm using the alphanumeric paper, drawing my grain line, taking my front bodice with my two darts, lining it up here at center front, neck, and then down here at center front waist. looks good. Now we can proceed and go ahead and copy it off, transfer our pattern. I'm going to copy my neckline, my shoulder, I'm going to turn this so I can easily reach my armhole. I like to keep the ruler there, it helps keep the paper in place and less scribbling on my paper pattern. We're just copying our curve line. There was the single notch to the front armhole. Let's go ahead and Bring that out. And it's nice to put a little U on the notch. Then you can see it. So I think I'll probably put U's on my pattern as I go around. Now I'm onto the side seam here. Flatten that out. Tracing off my side bust dart. And then the rest of my side seam down to the waist. Copy looks good so far. Now let's make sure that we have dart leg, dart leg. Tracing off waist, over to our center front, let's go ahead and draw the dart legs coming down. And now we need to transfer a couple of dart tips and the apex. And you can make a little hole in your pattern at 
dirt tip, dirt tip and apex. You can use the end of your pen or you can use a little bit more of a finer precision instrument. So I still want this weighted in place. So I can go here and just poke a little hole right through. Apex, I'm just lifting up, not getting my finger. Here's my last little dart tip. That had some, some tape on it. it. Took a little bit longer. Also have to use a little bit more tape right over here. making sure it's still where we want it to be. Now I can go ahead and put the transfer dart tip, apex, and dart tip. Let's make sure those are there. It's a little bit hard to see that one. Let me make that hole a little bigger with my pen. There we go. There, one, two, three, and we have transferred everything, including our notches. And on this pattern, I was saying little U's at the end where we'd have a notch going up for a dart can be very helpful. And there's the armhole notch. We're also going to set this pattern aside um, and we're done with it, but I'd like to go ahead and put back off points on this for a drill hole, half of an inch from the dart tip. Put that to the side. Now you see your notches and your dart legs, and the first thing you have to do is bring the notch from the outer edge in. And here's dart legs on the side seam. We'll bring that to the dart tip. Dart leg. Dart tip. And here we have dart leg to dart tip. Looks good. We've done a nice job of transferring. Now we're going to work on making our two dart parallel French darts that are also curved. Let me just finish up that little corner. There we go. Want to make sure that we have all the corners drawn in there. So a French dart comes uh, out of the side seam area, but not up towards the bust. The French dart is up one inch, two inches, three inches, but it's always below where the side bust position is. So we're going to take our curve ruler and we're going to use this to draw a couple of curved lines from our side seam going up to the dart points and not the apex. So we're going to mark however far you want to go up to position those. So you could go up one inch for the first one, two inches for the second, or one and a half, and then up three. So I like one and a half. I'm gonna space them out a little bit. And then another one and a half, so we're up three inches for the second one. Looks good. And then now we're gonna make a curved line from that dirt tip over to the side seam, and this is gonna be the curved uh, dart that you're also going to sew. Um, so you don't want to make it too curvy, 
Uh, you can have a, a curved line, but I wouldn't make it that curvy. Uh, that would be a little bit more challenging to sew. So I'm going to shallow that line out a little bit. And they go more like, might be okay from like three down to about nine and a half. Let's see what three and a half to ten looks like. I think I like that better. And now I'm going to draw from three and a half down to ten. That's just the style line that I chose, and that's from the dirt tip. Tip, apex, tip. Now, we're going to use the same, like if this goes, look here, if this goes from three and a half down to ten, that's great. We're going to use the same three and a half, ten, three and a half down to ten, but it goes a little bit farther. So keep this shape the same up here at the top. Three and a half is where we're starting. And we're going to end up being more like ten and seven eighths. Totally fine. This is how you draft a pattern. We've got two different slash lines now. These are style lines that we drew. We're going to slash them. We're going to slash the darts. Okay, so we can cut a little bit of the paper away if we want to. And save that. And we can slash up. And I'm cutting the dart, the waste dart, completely away. And it's gone. You can keep this for reference, but we're done with it for now. I don't think we'll be needing it. Here's the side bust dart. Let's go ahead and cut that dart away. Again, we don't need this. So there's our two darts cut away. We have our style lines coming from the side seam. And now we can go ahead and cut these lines here, these curved lines that we made. So come in on your side seam. Our parallel curved French dart. French darts, very cool. There we go, all the way to that tip. Let's cut the second one. Now, oh, well now it looks like we have four darts, but really we want to get just two. So let's grab a little bit of tape, and I'm going to, from the slashed curve lines we have now, I'm going to spread open now this new dart. And let me tape the side bust dart where it was closed. Then here on this bottom curve slash line, we're going to uh, close that and spread open the new dart position there. We've closed our waist dart. Grab another piece of tape. And if it's not exactly where you want it, look, rip it off. You can just take that off and you can move this over. You can match the waist up perfectly. Get that, oops, in position. I think I want it a little bit closer. So I'm going to, I'm gonna slit that tape there real quick. Grab another piece of tape. I want that a little bit closer, matching the waist at the bottom.
There we go. I'm happy with that. Our two French darts. Parallel. And curved. Now we need to go ahead and place paper underneath this area and we're going to true them up. Let's grab another piece of paper. Some scraps if you have them work out great. I'm going to put that underneath. Weight everything down, smooth over. Taping my new darts into place. You may use as little tape as you would like. But for my demo, I use a pretty good amount of tape, I would say. And the weights are very handy for holding everything in place until you can tape it in position. Almost finished with the taping. Great. We have a piece of paper underneath there, and we don't need all the rest of the paper. Okay, it can, it can tend to be in the way. So now that we have that taped on there, you can come from the back side here and cut that away. Another video I had let this space be white so you can use the white side of the paper to fill the space or the dots whatever you like you can also use a contrast brown paper those look great now um, we can go ahead and trim everything up but what we have to do here is the side seam okay so we're gonna fold a line right across the two dirt tips. Okay, there we go. Dirt tips. Now I'm ready to fold these two darts. So this is the bottom here, this is the waist. And we're gonna start with um, the line that's closest to the waist and we're going to try to slightly crease that line it doesn't have to be perfect I know it's curved and we're going to bring that up try to match that with the side seam there get a little piece of magic tape tape that in place We'll get the second dirt, and because it's curved, it's going to lay down a little bit puckery, but that's okay for now. Take the second dirt, crease that, you can make a little bit more of a straight line if you need to. Bring it up, place it on top of the next dart leg, flatten this down, you can pop a weight on it if you want. And let's get some magic tape. Tape that in place. And we can go ahead and draw a new side seam here and correct a little bit of our side seam. 
we can fold it to see what the pieces look like underneath. Or you can just cut it in position right now through all those layers. Get rid of some excess paper. Undo our little side darts. It's fun to see how it's going to start curving and fitting. We don't have any seam allowance on, and, uh, on there yet. And here we have what our darts look like on the side. Notches for now, which we will take out to the seam allowance later. And we have a notch here in the armhole. Like I said, too, we'll take the seam allowance out later. We can go ahead and trim this up. I just did this, a little bit of the armhole. Went back to the shoulder. Now let's go back to the armhole. And we have our neckline. And we have our waist. And then here we have our, our center front. So we can have the whole other side of the, pad, the paper pattern underneath. We can make a huge other piece of paper. We can just fold this back now to represent the other half. Or this could have an opening down the center front with a zipper for the design. Or a placket or a facing. Cut on fold. So we know it would be duplicated, butterfly. Now let's go ahead and make another grain line that is parallel with the line you already made. Arrows going both directions. And this was your basic front to dart bodice into your parallel French curved darts. Always good to get your name on there and the date, the size, and we are finished with this for now until we place it on another piece of paper with some seam allowance. Uh, let's see, you could show yourself a little marking over here. The darts are going that direction. When you pick them, pick them up, you have the fold coming down. These could also turn into cutaway darts. There's just so many choices. So please watch another one of my videos. We'll be adding seam allowance on to this one. Have a good one.